hello guys uh, welcome back to uh, climbing system tutorial so uh, in last video we uh, we set up the release ledge so in this video we will uh, we'll try to make uh, functions that's required for moving left and right so open the climbing component so we have the grab ledge and at the grab ledge end uh, we are setting the climbing state to uh, hanging so we have to put in the logic what has to be done uh, when we are in the hanging state. So for that uh, create a function. Hanging. So I will first add this case so that I do not forget. Okay. So in hanging we have to do uh, various things like uh, uh, we have to identify whether we can move left or right and uh, uh, we also need to check whether we can climb up or not so all those things will be doing uh, we will be doing on the hanging state so put a sequence and on the player character we have to add the arrow component uh, to uh, to uh, to help us with the trace uh, area so go to the player component and uh, sorry player character and add uh, two arrows so if if you are uh, using uh, if you have already completed uh, the cover system you have the arrows already there so you can uh, use the same arrows you don't need to uh, create new ones yeah, we can use the same arrows Name them as uh, right trace. trace. Make sure you are keeping it both at the same point. If this is in minus 60, this should be in plus 60, and both should be under the capsule component. So, make sure of that also. So we have the left and uh, right trace arrows. Okay, so this looks good. Uh, we'll come here. Now uh, create one more uh, function. Find right ledge. And uh, here we need a uh, couple of uh, arguments. One is whether we are going to the left or not. So now add the arrow component. Set the type as arrow component again. Uh, we will promote this to uh, local variable. And then uh, we will do a spear trace. Trace by channel. And trace channel, uh, we already have the variables. Debug type also, you can set it. For the start, we will uh, get the arrow location. And we will adjust the height here. So, so x and y we can take it as it is. For the z, add an offset here. This offset you can adjust. Uh, to your uh, liking. For me, I think 100 uh, suits better. Or else we can uh, have the 
we will have the uh, height from our uh, player's hand. So give this to uh, Z and uh, we, we have we, we need uh, the start and the end uh, uh, you know a, a bit forward uh, to the player. So get the player ref and get the forward vector get actual forward vector then uh, multiply it by an offset change this to float float should be fine as i said 40 is uh, looks good uh, value for me and add it here so this will be our start and uh, for the end We will take the vector and minus uh, uh, an offset from Z. So X and Y will be the same for Z. Do and subtract. And minus T. So this will be our uh, trace game. Okay. This this should be fine. Compile this, we will see how it looks. Okay, uh, again, I didn't call them on the tick. So, this finally we have to call in the hanging function. Find side image. So, we need to call one for the left and one for right. So, click left, select left here, then from uh, player ref, get the uh, left arrow sorry left trace and connect it here and uh, similarly call one more for the right side Okay, set the radius here. That's so that's what I missed. So set the radius here and now we will be able to see the trace. Okay, we have two traces, one on the left and one on the right. So the logic is when uh, we don't have a, a successful fit, then uh, we should be uh, uh, stop moving the character. So add a branch here. So we need a uh, few variables and move left and move right. Moving left and moving right we already uh, created. So in the true add a branch connect local left here. And if it is true, okay, we, we don't need the can move left and can move right here because we already uh, created that on the ALS base character. So here we have created. So we will uh, use that.
let's set this to true and uh, similarly for the right side Set this to true, and after this, uh, we have to identify whether we are still uh, pressing the right key or left key. So for that, do a branch again, and uh, here uh, get the player ref, and we will get the move uh, left right uh, variable which we have set on the base character. And as I said, if, if this value is greater than 0, we are moving right, and if it is less than uh, uh, 0, we are moving left. So, check if it is less than 0 and set moving left, moving left to true, moving left to true. We can directly set this value also here, but I think that this is uh, uh, this is this is better. And if it if the trace is false, we will uh, stop the character immediately. Stop movement. And uh, again, do a branch here for local lift. Local lift. Uh, if this, if this is true, then uh, I can move left and can move right. So we have to set it as false. We can actually copy it from here. Copy, paste. And here, uh, similar to uh, setting moving left, uh, we have to set move right, right also. So we'll copy this and paste it here. And uh, connect can move right here. And instead of moving left, set moving right. And here, instead of less than zero, change it to greater than zero. Now let's test this out. Okay. So the character is moving right, but uh, once it reaches the end, it's not moving left. Okay, we'll see why I start. Okay, we have to connect this here. Okay, so our character moves to one end, uh, but it's not uh, returning back. The issue is on the ALS base character BP. So I I, I have uh, I have set as move uh, uh, can move right on both the sides. So I'll get that corrected. So the first one should be right and the second one should be left. Now let's try. Okay, it stops moving once it reaches the end. Then now it can move to the left. Okay. Fine. So our left and right traces are uh, working good now. Uh, 
Uh, in next video, we will set up the animations for uh, moving left and moving right. Thanks for watching.